Hi everyone. Quen just launched Quen 3 Coder, which is a 480 billion parameter large language model which has 35 billion active parameters and has a maximum token length of 1 million. So this is specialized in coding and it is claimed to have better performance than the alternatives that we have right here. Quen 3 Coder also has a CLI workflow called Quen Code, which is actually a fork of Gemini CLI. So let's dive in and let's see what Quen 3 Coder has to offer and how well it can code. and do other operations so without wasting any further time let me show you what exactly quen3 is about this is the official blog of quen3 coder and we have a bunch of information about quen3 and its benchmarks so you can see all those right here so quen3 coder is an open source llm owned by alibaba in this quen3 this is specifically made for coding and software engineering task and it is claimed that it performs well in agentic coding task Quen3 Coder is Alibaba's latest and advanced code-focused large language model optimized for coding and software engineering and agent task. It operates under OpenWeight Apache 2.0 license framework and it is freely available for everyone to use. If you want you can run it locally as well. So this is specialized for coding and it is open source. The key architectural features are it is model type mixture of its parts LLM architecture for efficient computation and scalability then this contains about 480 billion parameters with 35 billion active parameters at any point of time that you query something for high efficiency it support 256000 tokens natively and it can be extendable up to 1 million tokens and when talking about training data it is trained on 7.5 trillion tokens with 70 person emphasis on code so real world projects now let's check what are the capabilities and tools that quen code offers so it offers agentic coding and we have quen code tool so this is a fork of gemini cli and we'll be using that in this video then it has hybrid thinking modes you can configure uh, thinking budgets for customized reasoning balancing and speed accuracy quen 3 coder can handle complex tasks like a uh, handling github pull request writing debugging scripts multi step tool usage and integration real world software engineering scenarios these are the benchmarks that alibaba or quen claims so we have to see that now let's compare that with some of the other top tier open source models we have so we have quen3 coder uh, with 480 billion parameter out of that 35 billion is active then we have all details right here then we have uh, deep sea carbon v3 which is 32 billion dense moe and looking at the coding benchmark it is slightly behind quen3 coder and the context length so the quen3 coder can go up to 1 million tokens but deep sea is limited to up to 128k but meta llama can go up to 10 million and looking up to the efficiency it has high efficiency for coding quen3 coder so notable strength the main strength of quen3 coder is agentic coding and real world support so in user feedback people have expressed that uh, exceptional performance in software engineering tasks superior code quality compared to alternative efficient handling of large code bases strong agentic capabilities for multi step task occasional variability in edge cases the quen3 coder excels in real world scenarios so multi file code understanding complex debugging task automated code refactoring and integration with development tools these are all the theoretical details that we have about quen3 coder the slide show that you see right here is made with quen3 coder so let me show you so here we have quen3 coder and i have just asked it with few prompts to give all these details in a nice looking slide show where i can explain about these things give me well and it's reasonably good along with quen3 coder we have quen code a fork of gemini cli so this quen code is a command line ai workflow tool so all you have to do is run this command and then you have to add your quen API keys and all those details right here and run this command then you are all set to do it in the code base so let me set that up quickly this is one of my code base this is a large code base with multiple files so let's uh, see how it works in this so the first thing that you have to do is you have to export and change the API key i'm just uh, running this command export open api key so we have the key right here then export open ai base url uh, open router so i'm using the api from open router then the open ai model click enter so it is done then type the command quen 
so we have a quen ready so i had some problem i just fixed it now let's start so this is one of the code base that i was using so there are different files different folders a lot more folders and files that we have in this so let's see if it can understand what this code base is all about i asked quen about this code base and it gave me the response so it says this is a super mario pro style platform game built with typescript and html file canvas featuring minecraft inspired pixelated graphic the game includes and the core features that i gave so i'm asking if there are any errors in the code base so let's see what it tells us well the quen has found major issues in the code base so it listed five of them so about canvas api problem audio system errors physics and movement bug rendering issues integration problems so there are all these issues in the code base and it successfully found those and told me that these are the issues that we have this large code base quen is really good at finding the issues and analyzing large code bases so we can give what for that now let's try to create a simple calculator app using this quen and with this quen code terminal so let's uh, open a new folder and let me try to create a new app all right i just gave my prompt create a scientific calculator using html css javascript with modern looking ui and add animation for answers so let's see how it is going to create the calculator app so we have our calculator app right here so let's see if the functionalities are working fine plus two it should keep 80 as the answer yes that's correct now let's see what's the sign value of 80 so that's 9.8 not sure if it's right then what's this okay so pretty much all the features and are working for the calculator or the functions now the ui is also really great so you have this slight animation from here well great so that's all for calculator right here now let's ask when to visualize a csv that i'm trying to upload so let's see how it does that all right i have uploaded my csv file let's ask it to create better so i asked uh, quen to create a visually appealing graph so that i can understand this um, csv file better so let's see how well it is going to do with this csv file so now it gave me code in python so i'll have to run this locally in my system so instead i asked it to change this to javascript and html css so that i can view it right here in my browser Quen has created this HTML structure, CSS styling and JavaScript using our uh, Chart.js for giving us this visually appealing charts from the CSV data that we already gave. So let's see how well that has come out. I have already uploaded this particular CSV file where it has the company name profit in billion USD, tax in billion USD, turnover revenue in USD, expenditure, R&D spent and employees in thousands. So we have Apple, Google, Meta, Amazon, Microsoft and starting from 2019 till 2023. These are rough figures that I tried creating using ChatGPT. All right. So this is what Quen has created using the CSV that I've just uploaded. So we have this revenue versus profit graph of 2023 and we have this bar graph right here. Then we have a graph for this profit margin trends from 2019 to 2023 so it's right here this is a line chart showing how profit margin have changed over time great then we have this scatter plot showing R&D spend versus revenue we have that right here then we have this employee count and expenditure over time with all these visually appealing with similar color tones and we have this right here amazon and while pointing it out it just shows which are which great so quen did a great job here too now let's try to create a landing page so how well it will create a portfolio or a shopping cart or something similar to that that we will try to create using quen now let's stop this okay 
So I asked to create a new folder and create a portfolio website for my friend who is a content creator who puts video about traveling and lifestyles. He already visited New York, Paris, Tokyo, Mumbai, China, and it should be modern looking and vibrant. So let's see what Quent has to offer us with these details. Now let me open this portfolio HTML and see how well this landing page has come. So this is the landing page that it has created. So yeah, it has given the destination that the person has already visited New York, Paris, Tokyo. Then there is a lot of video from the YouTube. Then the particular email, Instagram, YouTube handles. Great. Well, that's how Quen3 Coder stood high comparing to its alternatives. It can code, it can analyze CSV files and give us graphs. It can understand my large code bases and give me all the details about the issues that I have with that code base. And it can create calculators. It can create stunning landing pages. So Quen3 Coder is really great. And the best part is it is free. So you can right away go to Quen's official website and choose Quen3 Coder and explore what are the other things that it offers. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let me know what do you think about Quen3 Coder and what are the projects that you would like to do with Quen3 Coder. So till then, this is Castor signing off. Bye.